Let's say that this bag of popcorn represents standard box office success in a movie theater. Now, pre-pandemic, this looks pretty good. But after the pandemic and with streaming services taking over, this is about all that's left. The Student Entertainment Board, or SCB as they like to call it, has promotional events with posters around campus, including places like these stairwells, television screens throughout the Cub, and social media platforms such as this. While a university student-run newspaper is something that is quite common, while the front page may have something seasonal and fun on the front of it, once you keep reading, it is not always the case. And if you might think, well, Pullman, Washington has such horrible hours, let's head on over to Moscow, Idaho, where there's no problems whatsoever. That is not the case, considering that places like Wendy's in Moscow close at 8 p.m., the same time as most places in Pullman, Washington. Indoor gyms being available is quite essential, considering weather like this for outdoor activities will be in short supply come the winter season. The sound of a busy day in Pullman, Washington is nothing new to the residents. But what is new is the sudden change of hours that restaurants, coffee shops, and some bars went through during the work shortage that took place this past year. A coffee shop like Manny's, along with many others, has had to cut back on their hours, leaving them to close at 8 p.m. every day, including Saturday. The only locations in town that are open late currently are bars. Rico's Pub has been owned and operated for many years, promoting fun events for locals and tourists each season. I spoke with the owner of Rico's Pub, Tawny Johnson, to get her take on what she hopes to see from opposing businesses in town. So I'm hoping that next semester all the bars downtown will be able to be open late again. All, you know, because I think we will be able to, we'll be staffed. But if the other ones don't, then, you know, people like to have options when they go out. They like, especially when they come downtown, they like to be able to bar hop. Um, so hopefully the other bars will be able to stay open late too, because I think that, I think it all hinges on one another. I think we all have to be open together to get the bulk of people down here to make it worthwhile to stay open. And if you might think, well, Pullman, Washington has such horrible hours, let's head on over to Moscow, Idaho, where there's no problems whatsoever. That is not the case, considering that places like Wendy's in Moscow close at 8 p.m., the same time as most places in Pullman, Washington. Reporting from Pullman, Washington, this is Connor McAvoy, Murrow News 8.